Hello? Yes, yes. Business has been wonderful. I actually just made a deal with a cruise company where I received 10% commission for every patient I sent on one of their trips. You know, for rest and relaxation and whatnot. Speaking of patients, I have an appointment scheduled with one now. It was great catching up with you. Goodbye. Next. Your name is Jonah? Yes. Come in, sit down, and try to relax. So Jonah, tell me what's bothering you. Well, you see, I've been having these dreams. Ah, yes, dreams. Windows into the soul is what I call them. Tell me about these dreams. How long have you been having them? As you know, I'm a prophet. And for many years now, I've been having dreams and visions. God telling me what to do and so on. You know, the regular sort of thing. No, I don't know. It all sounds highly regular. Just take it from me. These dreams are normal. He's telling me what's normal. But it's this dream I had the other night that's bothering me. Well, go on. God, I don't know what to think about. Just relax and take a deep breath. Tell me all about it. You'll feel much better when you do. Okay. It's like this. God has told me to go and preach to the people of Nineveh. Ah, uh, yes. Definite self-destructive tendencies here. Have you ever had these feelings before? What feelings? Of wanting to do away with yourself. Commit suicide? Oh, no, no, no. I want to save my life. I don't want to go to Nineveh. They chop off my head, burn me alive, cut me into little pieces. Ah! Looks like multiple personality disorder. <laughs> self destructive while part self preservative. Jonah, please calm down. Oh, please sit back down. Now, I realize there are some conflicting impulses at work inside you. Would you say you are under a lot of stress? Yes, very much so. And you say that God has told you to do this? Yes, he wants all of those people to repent and turn from their wicked ways. God wants sweeping changes among the people and leaders of Nineveh that will have an impact on the entire Middle East. And he wants me to preach repentance! Ah, uh, yes, the wisdoms of the I understand that you have a sort of sense of destiny. No, no, that's what God wants me to do. I can't do it. And everywhere I go, I feel God is watching me. Infantile defensive mechanisms, maybe paranoid schizophrenia. Could I suggest you look at this whole uh, God thing as a figment of your imagination, a temporary phase of writing the childhood fantasies? What? A figment of my imagination? No, God is real. He's almighty and powerful. I've experienced him throughout my life. It's not just a temporary phase. All right, all right. Sorry to upset you. Please calm down. Can I ask you a question? If God is so powerful, don't you think he could convert those heathen Assyrians some other way without your help? What do you mean? Well, maybe he could appear to them in a dream like yours or send someone else instead of you. Hey, I never thought of that. God could appear to them in a dream or send someone else. Wow. Thanks a lot. You've lifted a load off my mind. Good, good. Now, I think the best thing for you to do would be to get away from it all for a while and just relax. Maybe I could suggest a Mediterranean cruise, they're predicting the weather. Sounds like a great idea. I happen to have a charter brochure on Tarshish. Great place to spend a couple of weeks. You just take a ship from Java. And it's far away from Nineveh? Yes, I thought you'd like that. Cool. Thanks for your help. How much do I owe you? Everything you've got. What? The bill will be in the mail. Right then. I'll see you. And here's your prescriptions. Follow it to the left. Good luck to you, Joe. One Mediterranean cruise. Get plenty of rest and relaxation, and don't go anywhere near fish. They can be bad for your health. Great <laughs> <laughs> psychiatrist. She's even interested in my health. Now, let's see what I'll need. Plenty of socks, a couple pairs of pants, no swimming chunks. I don't like swimming. Uh, about ten shirts. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs>